Hey YouTube, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys the tutorial on how to uh, restore your uh, MacBook Pro back to its uh, original uh, Mac OS uh, X. And this is doing the by uh, CD method. So you got to make sure you have a restore a CD with you. Okay, I got two over here. Uh, one is the Mac OS uh, X install DVD. And the other one is our application install DVD. Okay, you want to go ahead and then uh, pop in your uh, MacBook Pro, Mac OS uh, X install CD. This is for the 13 inch into your uh, CD or the DVD ROM drive. So, normally you want to uh, power off your uh, MacBook. And then I uh, turn it on, so I could boot up on the DVD uh, ROM. Let me see if I hit Command R. So you gotta hit Command R. Now you hear the DVD is uh, getting uh, access. So be sure to put your CD uh, into your MacBook while you try to boot it up. So we are restore it with the original uh, CD but with a brand new uh, hard drive the hard drive I just installed it is the SSD which is a replacement of the SATA hard drive that is on the next to the MacBook uh, Pro right there So now we got the blue uh, screen. So we're going to use, uh, you can select right now, you can select different kind of languages. Okay, that is on here. So I'm going to use uh, English for the main language. And then uh, click the continue arrow right there. So I'm going to hit the continue. Preparing an uh, installation. Install Mac OS uh, X to set up the installation of uh, Snow Leopard. Click continue. To repair this uh, using this utility, restore your computer from the time machine backup or perform other tasks uh, using uh, utilities. Choose an option from the utility menu. So you can go back or continue. I'm going to continue. And uh, you got to make sure you agree to the license uh, agreements. And then press uh, agree. So somehow uh, this computer was uh, up upgraded to uh, Sierra. And then the system was uh, running slow. And with the hard drive SATA, it was running slow as well. So I decided to go ahead and upgrade this uh, for my sister. Because uh, I have the iMac and then when I uh, up upgrade the software to the latest, uh, newer version from the old one, and some of my computer are running so slow. So I believe that. Uh, so you can click on install and then press continue. Oh, I say I need to con connect to the power source. So we're gonna move to the station where there's a power source and then I'm gonna continue. Or we could just click continue right now. I still have about 57% of uh, juice left. So anyway, I thought uh, when we do the software upgrade, 
to the new version that my computer was gonna run smoother but instead it was uh, lagging drive and then uh, booting up very slow like a turtle so if you got like an older computer you don't want to up upgrade to the new and latest uh, software because it will tend to slow us down okay I, I believe uh, Apple do that on purposely so they they want you to think your system is running so slow and then uh, thinking about upgrading so that is their uh, business uh, model which is not good for consumer they did that to the iPhone which is slowed down all other old iPhone model and now they're getting a lot of lawsuit from the the consumer so so anyway I think I'm gonna fast forward this and just uh, let it do its thing because it says uh, take about 34 minutes and I don't want to waste uh, your time and my time to record this while it's uh, just a nonsense okay so we'll be back okay so that's like more than an hour or so to uh, restore it with the CD so they lie it's about 34 minutes actually take uh, longer so after that we got this uh, additional information make us uh, X is installed on your computer if you erase and reinstall Mac OS X use the applications uh, install this to reinstall the iLife applications iPhoto iMovie GarageBand iWeb and i DVD so this will be the CD for that so I'm gonna click on continue so we could put that CD in there install succeeded make OS X was installed on your uh, new hard drive your computer must restart to complete the installation this computer was restored in 13 seconds Click restart to restart your computer now. So just uh, choose where is your country. I'm going to select United States. If you don't see any countries uh, or region that you're in, you could uh, select all right there. So I show you the rest of the other countries, the different continent. So I'm just going to click on United States and press continue. And again, choose your keyboard uh, layout. There's a US and Can Canadian uh, English. Or you could click on show all again for the different uh, languages, keyboards. So I'm going to click on uh, US and continue. you already own a Mac so I'm just gonna click on do not transfer my uh, information now then press continue since this I'm gonna install a fresh copy so asking me to select my Wi-Fi Press continue. So right here you're going to enter your uh, Apple ID in order for you to download uh, app and stuff like that. Oh. So, well, you know, what, what is the rest that I need to be done? So, so I'm just going to end up this uh, video. And this is how you restore your uh, MacBook Pro with your uh, CD or restore disk. Hopefully, you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like this uh, video. And please uh, subscribe.
turn on the bell for notification please also share this with your friend family on social media if they need to learn how to uh, restore back their macbook pro with the their uh, restore it uh, restore disk all right thank you for watching i'll see you guys on the next uh, video guys like always peace